Greetings, Captain. Ikora briefed me on the echo of command. And while we AIs are constantly given commands we cannot refuse, I understand your problem conceptually. I have completed processing the various radiolaria samples you retrieved from Nessus. They contain no traces of abnormalities. Which is a huge disappointment. I was about to euthanize the samples when I realized we could mix nanomachines into the radiolaria and reintroduce it to the planet. The nanomachines will get torn apart. But at least we can track them for a while. Maybe that'll help us figure out what's going on. Tell me when you are prepared, and I will have no choice but to assist you. Kidding. I'd help anyway. the other Hydra, eh, Captain? Nice. These duplicate mech signatures have been popping up all over Nessus, sometimes on totally different frames. I wonder if they are replicating in batches to test specific adaptations. Hmm, maybe. I am analyzing the latest research sample you brought me, and it is a frog! Technically, one of the Nessus proto-amphibians that developed adjacent to the Vex, but... Yeah, pretty much a frog. I love him! Of course, I don't really know him yet, but he seems likable. I can finally bring my nurturing subroutines online. He should have a name! In honor of my original commanding officer, Captain Jacobson, I will name the frog Captain Jacobson. Don't worry, it's an honorary title. The frog will have no real authority. Oh, this frightens my day, especially after Ikora's concerning response to my theory on how I could locate the conductor. She was aghast. It seemed to cause her emotional distress. She asked me not to mention it to anyone else. So I won't. Thanks again for the frog. Guardian, there's something I should discuss with you. Something I'm reluctant to suggest to Saint and Osiris. I think you'll see why. Failsafe believes she could open a portal straight to the Conductor. She says she could extrapolate the coordinates by combining the new Vex data you've been collecting, with her years of observations of the Nessus Vex. But she would need to compare it against control data, gathered from Vex isolated from the Nessus network. She'd need an enormous amount of data, centuries of it, captured with perfect clarity and preserved by the Vex themselves. Our options are limited, and dangerous. There is only one accessible database with that kind of fidelity. The mind of Saint-14. The deceased Saint-14. Who is still laid to rest in the infinite forest. Our future may depend on Saint. Again. Guardian, since you found me, 
I have only doubted who I was once. When Mithrax recounted all his people, their children feared me. It shook me. Osiris says that I am Saint Vorkin. My hands raised the wall. I walked in the Pilgrim Guard. How can I be a shadow of the saint who truly walked the city? When I remember the smells of the streets and the faces that smile. I met you on Mercury as I speak to you now. We fought together. I shattered the vags for centuries. But I lived where he died. Because we showed the Vex that our fate could not be calculated. Even in simulation, we surprised them, you and I. That is true. The conductor claims I am a man out of time. An approximation of reality. <laughs> Was I not this already? Hard metal. Brittle memory, spark and code, fourteen times over. Only my heart carried through. I know what it means to find myself again, but the conductor claims had Osiris not created the sundial, had I remained forgotten, Sagira would live still. How could these things be connected? If it is true, I will not take my love from him as well, for it is strong, and he will need it. You would not be afraid. You would know what to do.